Naturalist, broadcaster, presenter, this man is a national treasure. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Sir David Attenborough moments. When he came to allocate a scientific name to this bird, called it Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For more than half a century, David Attenborough has brought the wonders of nature into our front rooms. For this list, we'll be focusing on his most memorable moments from documentaries, interviews and other public appearances. I mean, I've, I've been humiliated enough <laughs> in, in Amazon forests and losing myself, I mean that, and you really do feel it. Number 10, The Capercaillie, The Life of Birds. This documentary series studied the evolution of birds, plus their shared and singular habits, casting new light on hundreds of species. During the course of its filming, Sir David covered over 250,000 miles, visiting more than 40 countries, yet arguably its best and most memorable moments came close to home, in the highlands of Scotland. And the best, in the end, is claimed by the most powerful male, who will defend it against any intruder. As Attenborough enters the territory of the world's largest species of grouse, the Capercaillie, he comes face to face with a bird that mistakes him for a love rival. Run, David, run! This being the breeding season, that he'll display to almost anything, including me! <laughs> No doubt, no doubt. Number 9, The Wolf Call, The Life of Mammals. In his memoir, Adventures of a Young Naturalist, Attenborough tells the story of how he once wrestled a red-maned wolf in Argentina. Perhaps that is how he got to know the animal so intimately, for in the following clip he shows off an impressive ability to copy their call. Oh! As the presenter explains how wolves are able to communicate across long distances, his impersonation is so convincing that he appears to draw responses from an entire valley full of the animals. It's eerie and incredible at the same time. Number 8 Meeting Barack Obama David Attenborough meets President Obama on the occasion of Attenborough's 89th birthday, he was invited to the White House by the then President of the United States. Sir David Attenborough, thank you so much for uh, being here. As I was telling you in our walkover, I have been a huge admirer of your work for a very long time. Obama wanted advice about the most critical issues threatening the Earth in the 21st century, and after half a century as a leading naturalist, no one is better placed to give it than Attenborough. Uh, and the the uh, the rising in uh, temperature, global temperature, is is a very very serious worry indeed. Of course, he has long been a spokesman on issues such as climate change and conservation, giving this sobering warning in his 2000 documentary series, State of the Planet. But it's now increasingly apparent that one species, our own, has developed the unique ability of so altering its surroundings that it can destroy whole species, indeed, whole environments. Number 7 Lonesome George – Galapagos 3D The Pinta Island tortoise Lonesome George was once the last known member of his species and the rarest creature in the world. This is the rarest living animal in all the world. When Attenborough visited the Galapagos National Park in 2013, he was granted just 30 minutes alone with Lonesome George. He was asleep for most of it, but awake for a few crucial moments. So now George lives in his own enclosure, completely safe, but entirely by himself. Sadly, George died a fortnight after this clip was filmed, but has since become an important symbol for conservation efforts in the Galapagos Islands and beyond. And George and David briefly became one of television's greatest double acts. But at least he can be a living inspiration for us all to protect the remainder of the reptiles and amphibians of the world. Number 6 Bird Song Bloopers Attenborough's Paradise Birds. Attenborough achieved a childhood ambition when he travelled to New Guinea to film Birds of Paradise for Attenborough in Paradise in 1996. 
and he has continued his association with some of the world's rarest bird life ever since, including narrating these images of the creature's courting rituals, which are regarded as some of the greatest wildlife footage ever captured. But not everything always goes according to plan. This surely is one. As a consummate professional, Attenborough usually records his scripts in a small number of takes, yet here one bird was determined to upstage him. By about the 18th century. And so when. <coughs> Very well. Number five, the Adele voiceover. The Greg James Show. Look as the world's most famous pop star zooms down a dirt track in an old mini. During his distinguished career, Sir David has provided plenty of hilarious voiceovers on subjects ranging from nightclubs to Olympic curling. But perhaps his most famous alternative voice work came in 2015, when Radio 1 DJ Greg James challenged him to narrate the opening to Adele's music video for her song Hello. Her surroundings are unfamiliar and unwelcoming, but this is no match for such a cool customer, so she decides to tidy up a bit. Oh. Dusty, isn't it? With a script in the style of one of his famous documentaries, this performance underlines not just Attenborough's versatility, but also his sublime sense of humour. The lesser spotted Adele is about to be everywhere again. Hello. Hello. It's me. Number four, the orangutan, Zoo Quest. Heading back to Attenborough's first major TV appearance, here he partners with staff from London Zoo to collect specimens for their expanding collection, an accepted practice back then. And soon, every time I passed his cage, he stretched out his hand to attract my attention in the hope that he'd get some more food. And this now famous clip shows Attenborough's natural affinity with the animals as he wins the trust of the orangutan, Charlie, and eventually coaxes him out of his cage and onto deck. And then, for the first time, four days after we'd had him, we encouraged him to come right outside his cage. Once rehomed in England, Charlie actually fathered the first orangutan to be born at London Zoo, establishing its breeding colony. Within a few days, he was so tame that he allowed me to put ointment on the bad greys which he had on his wrist. Number three, the blue whale. The life of mammals. Meeting a blue whale was another of Attenborough's boyhood dreams, and another he fulfilled when he helped to capture this stunning footage of the mighty marine mammal. And it's coming up, it's coming up. Attenborough's obvious excitement threatens to spill over as the creature surfaces mere meters from his boat, yet he retains his professionalism just enough to faultlessly deliver a perfect piece to camera. Only in the sea can you get such huge size as that magnificent creature. A clear fan favorite moment from the presenter's long and distinguished back catalog, Few scenes so magnificently sum up the magic of the natural world. And as it tilts its hundred ton body downwards, so it can plunge to the black world 500 feet or more below the surface. Number two, the baby rhino, Africa. This documentary, obviously set exclusively in Africa, features one of the most moving moments of Attenborough's entire career as he befriends a blind baby rhino called Nicky. He starts to squeak, and we're able to have a little chat. In an interview for Radio 5 Live, Sir David admitted to sometimes crying over the suffering of the animals that he encounters, but he maintains that it's inappropriate for presenters to intervene or even show their emotion. Those principles were surely pushed to their limits here. Nicky never did get his eye operation, but still thrived in the care of a Kenyan wildlife team. Number 1. Mountain Gorillas – Life on Earth This clip has been regularly voted not just as a standout David Attenborough moment, but as one of the top TV moments in general of all time. There is more meaning and mutual understanding in exchanging a glance with a gorilla than any other animal I know. Filmed in Rwanda, 
It begins with a scripted section about the largest members of the ape family. But after feeling the hand of a female gorilla on his head, Attenborough's encounter with the group gets a little closer than he'd anticipated. Sometimes they even allow others to join in. And the reason why the presenter is smiling and grimacing throughout? Because out of shot, two playful baby gorillas are carefully removing his shoes. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.